little Muslim books. Um, so when I was on maternity leave um, a couple of years ago, I was looking for children's books that were fun, exciting, kind of engaging, but then I had a little concept of Islam. I really struggle finding mainstream books like that because mainstream books offer those things that Islamic books didn't. I found Islamic books really quite a little bit dark, a little bit kind of um, just not just not child friendly, not age appropriate. So what I used to do is I would I used to read children's books to my kids, especially mainstream books. I used to adapt the words to like Arabic or like a bit of Punjabi in there as well. But like and then I used to forget what I wrote or I said the time before. But anyway, so what I used to do was uh, because I, I used to kind of reword the story, I thought, well, actually, it'd be so nice if the characters are more relatable, if the imagery was kind of a little bit more relatable. Um, and that's kind of where it came from um, initially. Um, and then I just wrote a few ideas down, life got in the way. And then a year later, when I was on my turn to leave again, I, uh, I actually put pen to paper and wrote the stories down. The first story I wrote was um, Hakim Learns Bismillah. That was the first one I wrote. But the one that I used to kind of bring Zara and Hakim alight was uh, Aslam Alikum, because I thought it's in an introduction, it's saying hello. Um, I try to introduce a lot of kind of repetition within the books. Um, so that's how children learn language, they learn through repetition. So we, we repeat kind of key words within each book about seven, eight times. Um, and that's, that's kind of how we found all of our customers and our little children that read our books, learn them. Uh, and alhamdulillah, parents and families love them so far. Genuinely, um, my advice to them, anyone who wants to uh, do anything in life, I think if you have a real passion for it and you're not thinking of extra things, it's just the fact that you, what, whatever your mission is, make it simple. So my mission was at that time, was I wanted to teach my kids these basic words. That was my mission. And it wasn't about thinking about everybody else it was at the moment at that moment it was my, my my son and my daughter and actually for me because it was so authentic because it came naturally to me it just worked I didn't have to try so I think yes work hard push for it but don't force it you know you've got to do what feels right go with your instincts and So uh, Hakim and Zara um, look like my son and daughter, so Suleiman and Zara. Uh, so my illustrator, I sent him pictures of my children and that's kind of where it came from. Obviously my children's names are quite complicated to say. So I tried to keep Hakim and Zara's name two syllables. So it's very easy for children to say that, not just kind of pluck them out of the air. So it was kind of trying to make the stories really kind of relatable and easy for children to kind of access and not get overly complicated. For me, the language in there, the most complicated words you're going to get there in there is Alhamdulillah and Aslam Alaikum. And that's what the key is to learn, not the kids' names. So, uh, Well, yeah, yes and no. So my plans, you know, I suppose they just come to me. So I actually have about another 10 books in the pipeline. But, you know, for me, I want to keep them simple. So, you know, I just, you know, each and every book, I'll be honest with you, I put my heart and soul into each book. I have lost sleep over them. I've rewritten them three, four times. I want, I kind of want them to be on point. So the next collection of books will not be rushed. You know, I want to make them perfect. and. And, you know, my children were such a good kind of inspiration for me that I used it on them and I knew it would work. And again, I think, inshallah, when they grow older, I, my collection will grow. I, I genuinely believe that. Um, so for me now, obviously, my next is the, the wall stickers. I think they really, um, that's kind of, again, come from, from my kids. So, like, my children at the moment, who's, my son's obsessed with the Thomas the Tank Engine and the obsessed with little animals and that kind of thing but actually having wall arts in his room that's inspirational that's islamic and fun is kind of where i'm trying to head towards so you've got our new um 99 uh, 
uh, tree, name of Allah tree, which is basically the same quality, the same kind of concept as what you'd get in mainstream. So mother care, mamas and papas, same quality as that. Uh, you've got 99 leaves on the tree. Each leaf houses the name of Allah. And then we've got the other kind of fun, more brightly colored images, which is our uh, rainbow, our, our rocket, our hot air balloon. And we've tried to add inspirational quotes on there for children. So not Quranic quotes, not something that's, something that's more inspirational for them.